So, what are we really made of? Deep, deep inside the atom, when you'll find tiny particles held together by invisible forces. Everything is made up of tiny packets of energy born in cosmic furnaces. The atoms that we're made of have negatively charged electrons whirling around a big bulky nucleus. The quantum theory offers a very different explanation of our world. The universe is made of 12 particles of matter, four forces of nature. The universe is made of 12 particles of matter, four forces of nature. That's a wonderful and significant story. Suppose that little things behave very differently than anything big. Nothing is really as it seems. It's so wonderfully different than anything big. The world is a dynamic mess of jingling things. It's hard to believe. The quantum theory is so strange and bizarre. Even Einstein couldn't get his head around it. In the quantum world, the world of particles, nothing is certain. It's a world of probability. The quantum theory offers a very different explanation of our world. The universe is made of 12 particles of matter, four forces of nature. The universe is made of 12 particles of matter, four forces of nature. That's a wonderful and significant story. It's very hard to imagine all crazy things that things really are like. Are like. Electrons act like rays, no they don't exactly. They act like particles, no they don't exactly. We need a theory of everything. We need a theory of everything. Which is still just beyond our grasp. Still just beyond our grasp. We need a theory of everything. We need a theory of perhaps the ultimate triumph. The ultimate triumph of science. Offers a very different explanation of our world. The universe is made of 12 particles of matter, four forces of nature. The universe is made of 12 particles of matter, four forces of nature. That's a wonderful and significant story. Wonderful and significant story. I gotta stop somewhere. I'll leave you something to imagine.